Uh, well, I joined up in Melbourne. I was on the reserve for six months from late 41 and uh, enlisted in April in Melbourne, 1942. I went to uh, Victor Harbour, overnight ship by train ship, and did initial training there for two months and was posted to Parafield, the EFTS, completed Tiger Moth training there and was posted to uh, SFTS at Daniloquin. Another two or three months there and uh, in, I think it was January 43, I uh, gained my wings at Daniloquin. And uh, I had opted for dive bombing as a posting um, in the belief that it, it was a no, bit of a novelty and everyone wanted to be a fighter pilot and I thought, well, you've got a better chances of getting what you want if you get something unusual. So I uh, was posted to dive bomber training school at Williamtown, New South Wales. That lasted uh, a month or so. I was posted to 24 Squadron, then stationed at Bankstown, flying railways. I'd only been there a brief time when in the course of uh, trying a new dive bombing formation technique, uh, I was involved in a mid-air collision with the leader of the three aircraft in the flight and uh, my, my button, my uh, wireless nav and myself were bailed out. He, his parachute became detached and he died and uh, I landed safely on Bankstown Aerodrome. Uh, and I was posted... <coughs> I was posted uh, after a few weeks to 25 Squadron, which was a dive bomber squadron based at Pierce, WA. I was there for 18 months. After f late 43, 25 Squadron converted to Volley Vengeance, and uh, myself and uh, I was a flight sergeant, flight sergeant Harry Olson. Uh, completed 350 hours on Valley Avengers in the course of 18 months. Um, a lot of dive bombing and strafing exercises uh, with army support training. There was a big army uh, strength of presence in Western Australia. Uh, the occasional anti-submarine patrol not too far out to sea, but on the waters approaching the submarine base of Fremantle. And uh, I was commissioned in 1944, and at the end of 1944, Valley Vengeances were phased out of the picture, and as far as our AAF was concerned, and um, a number of us were posted to fighter training at Mildura. I completed that and was posted to 78 Squadron on Kitty Hawks, which was then based at uh, Moratai, having completed operations at uh, other, I think, Noomfa and other islands in that vicinity. Um, a few weeks after joining 78 Squadron, I was in a group of pilots who were sent in advance to the landing at Tarakan. Uh, pilots were numerous at that time. There was an oversupply. And we were the new boys and we were sent as a ground party to Tarakan. We landed on day three of the invasion, which was quite an experience. We didn't actually take part in any fighting, but we were... Uh, we established a camp... Uh, uh, within a few hundred yards of Japanese lines, so it wasn't really a picnic. And the idea was that uh, uh, the Australian troops would take Tarakan, Air Force engineers would build a strip, and uh, 78 Squadron, and I think other squadrons would, would operate from there, certainly 78 Squadron. Uh, in the event 
a lot of difficulty was encountered in completing the trip on swampy ground, really mushy ground, and we were actually uh, uh, just sitting there on Tarakan for three or four months uh, before the main body, uh, we flew back to Maritime and, <coughs> and flew Kitty Hawks back to, um, back to Tarakan. And uh, I took part in a couple of op operations, uh, dropping leaflets and, and, and machine gunning uh, Japanese positions in a couple of the Borneo sites. And then the end of the war came on. I volunteered for the occupation forces in Japan and was posted in late 45 to, um, from 78 Squadron to 77 Squadron. We trained at Labuan, which is the other side of Borneo from Tarakan, and uh, I was able to uh, be in a small party which was sent to Japan in December of '45, um, just on a more or less a sightseeing trip for only a few days, but uh, it was quite interesting to see Tokyo and Osaka and the big cities, how they'd been race to the ground. It was quite a quite an eye-opening experience. Uh, got back to uh, Labuan and flew with 81 wing, which comprised 76, 77 and 81 squadrons, uh, to Japan, from Labuan to Clarkfield, Manila, Manila to Okinawa, which was a four and a quarter hour ship with wing tanks uh, in the Mustang uh, from Okinawa to Bofu, which was the other wave base in Japan. And uh, I was in with 77 Squadron in, uh, at Bofu for 12 months and was discharged in the middle of 1945. Uh, 40, 47, sorry.